Here we are, discount tire, getting the wheels, drag radials put on the ZR1. So without hesitation, let's get started. Well, as you can see, I finally pulled the trigger on new wheels and tires for the ZR1. Uh, this car's had a major traction problem, so I'm hoping this addresses a bunch of those. Real quickly, be sure to hit that like and subscribe below. I'm gonna have driving footage with the new tires and wheels in the future, and you don't wanna miss that upcoming content. Now to get on to the subject, uh, as I mentioned, the cars needed new tires for a long time, uh, and with the added horsepower and just how much horsepower alone this car has decided it needed some drag radials in the back i don't drive this car in the rain is a disclaimer uh, so you know as long as i watch puddles and stuff from sprinklers i should be fine and this car basically goes from the garage to car shows or racing events and that's it so uh, went ahead and just put drag radios on her full time. Uh, went Mickey Thompson ET Street SS. And on the front, I just threw on some Nitto uh, 555 G2s uh, just to, you know, give her some traction around the corners and stuff around town. Basically, do a, you know, a street racing build to her. So, and uh, we went with Four Star Wheels, and I'll post the sizes here that we went with. If anybody's asking what the offsets are, just you know, hit pause during the video, write it down, and you can copy the same offsets I went with. Uh, those that know the ZR1 has huge brakes on it from the carbon metallic brakes. So there's only about four companies that make an 18 inch rim for the ZR1. So you have to be real careful when selecting brands. Uh, and unfortunately, weld racing is not one of those brakes. Uh, you do have to shave some of the brake caliper to fit welds. Otherwise, you got to go 19s if you go weld uh, with the ZR1. I think the Z06 and base model Corvette C6 are different, of course. Unless you do a full brake conversion, then you can go all the way to 15. But anyways, went with the Ford Star wheels. Uh, they're a real good price. They ran a Black Friday special last year, took advantage. Uh, Mickey Thompson 345 35 18 on the back and Nitto 555 G2 285 35 19 on the front. So I did have to raise the front uh, half an inch on profile, you know, going from a 30 to 35 because the drag radials on the back only came in 35. So that way the ratios will stay the same and won't mess up the tune. It rides really good. I did have a little bit of rubbing up here, but it's just because this side is set a little low and I just need to adjust the uh, lowering bolt. Once I adjust that, it's gonna be a perfect fit. I had zero scrapes anywhere else, but this side was sitting low before it, so. Should be just fine. I'm gonna adjust that bolt, take her in for an alignment and get everything perfect with the new tires uh, and she'll be ready to race. Also, just to go over where I got the tires, if you're in the Houston area, go check out Discount Tire on 99 uh, in Katy. Uh, their address is either listed as Richmond or Katy, but Miles there is the manager. He took good care of me. Uh, he did a lot of the work himself, and uh, he gave me an excellent deal on the tires and the mounting and new sensors for the car. So go check them out if you're in the Houston area. He'll cut you a deal. Tell them Online Car Show sent you and he'll give you an additional discount on top of what you see on their prices and all that. Go hit them up. They did an excellent job and I did a little montage here for them.
I said discount did an excellent job, no complaints. Everything seems to be, you know, running just fine, balanced. Uh, they did an excellent job mounting, no scratches, anything like that. So highly recommend them. You know, go talk to Miles personally. He'll he'll hook you up. Also, special thanks to Roger One Ali on Instagram. Roger came out, helped me out again with the tires, and we also did a photo shoot afterward. And here's just some quick photos of the car that we took and a montage. So thanks again, Roger One LE. Y'all be sure to hit that like and subscribe below. It helps support my channel, and I'm also gonna have uh, driving footage coming up with the new Hero 7, which I'm using right now, and hopefully some in-car footage, and it's gonna be a lot better than the last driving video. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming content. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all stay safe, healthy, and have a great week.